All right, now we're going to talk about reciprocal ratios. Now, this is a big concept. I want to get a couple things out of the road right off the bat. Um, if you have a fraction, simple like that, the reciprocal is when you make the numerator and the denominator switch places. So that becomes 7 thirds. Or if you have like x over pi, the reciprocal becomes pi over x. I mean, easy. Likewise, if you have a fraction, let's say you have uh, 2 quarters and you have it uh, equal to something, because this is a true statement. Oopsie. This is a true statement. That means that if you take the reciprocal of both of these, 4, 2, and 12, 6, if you reciprocate both of them, your equal sign will still remain true. So this is a pretty huge... Uh, this is a pretty huge concept to get the hang of for our, our dealing with trig ratios and all that kind of stuff. Okay, uh, make sure this is in the bag. Okay, I'm not even gonna touch this again. If you need it, give me a holler and we'll, we'll go over it. Okay, what do we have? Well, we have our, 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 our we have our regular trig ratios, which are um, we have sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse. We have cos, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, and we have tan, which is opposite over adjacent. Okay, so what does that tell a regular Joe like you and me? Well, the title reciprocal ratios means that there's something that if we take the reciprocal, we'll get a different ratio. Let's check it out. If we uh, take the, remember the second example, we, we take the fraction of both sides equal sign and flip it, our equal sign holds true. Let's do that with this one first. First thing first, I'm going to write this so that it looks like a fraction. I'll put the sign clearly in, in the numerator and put it over 1. Okay. Now, I mean, it's easy to see that if I uh, flip this, I'll go 1 over sine theta equals hypotenuse over opposite. This equal sign still holds true. Okay. So we have a new ratio, but uh, it's still in terms of the sine function. So what I'll do is explain to you that this here has a name all of its own. It's called cosecant. Cosecant. Okay? And the short form is CSC, as you'll see. 1 over sine theta equals cosecant theta over 1. Okay? Or simply cosecant theta. Okay? So what we're going to write here instead of h over o over equals 1 over sine theta, we'll just call it cosecant theta over 1 equals h over o. This, our first reciprocal ratio, cosecant. Second one, cosine. Well, that's really over 1, right? Everything's divided by 1. Let's flip it. 1 over cosine theta just put the theta there, equals uh, h over a. The equal sign will still hold true, just like the previous example. Well, this here has its own name, and it's called secant, S-E-C-A-N-T, okay? And its uh, short form is S-E-C. So what we would write instead is secant theta equals h over a. And of course, this is one over one. It's not like floating in the middle or anything. It's over, over one. Okay. So this is our second trig reciprocal ratio, and our third one here. Of course, I'm sure you probably get the idea. One over tan will equal adjacent over opposite. This has its own name. It's called cotangent. Well, we have a shortcut for it. We call it cotan. Well, you can just call it COT for short. Okay? What you get is um, cotan equals A over O. Okay? So <clears throat> we have our three main trig ratios, and then we have our three reciprocal ratios. Cosecant is the opposite of, or the reciprocal of sine. Secant theta is the reciprocal of cosine, and cotan Theta. Uh, I should have put those in there in the beginning. Cotan is the reciprocal of tangent. Okay. 
Um, pretty much that's it in a nutshell. Um, what I really want you to focus on is getting handy at maneuvering and flipping equations around to, to see what we're talking about. I'll give you an example here. I'll just run through sine to get back, to, to, to show you the flow of what I'm talking about. Okay? If I have sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, I can say that I'll flip it and go 1 over sine equals hypotenuse over opposite. I can call that really cosecant theta equals hypotenuse over opposite. But what I can really also call that is, if I flip it back, 1 over cosecant theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. You can follow in here and just, we keep flipping and keep flipping and, and we'll be renaming. And, and we're always correct. We're always keeping the equal sign true. It's true. Uh, and again, 1 over cosecant, that's the same as saying sine. Okay? And I mean, this side's the same. Okay? What I want to see is you guys getting very handy at flipping these equations around, holding the equal sign true. All I did in this case was I, re I replaced, uh, I put sine in place of that. You know, and here was the flip. Here was the flip. Okay, all I did here was put cosecant in place of one over sine. Okay, get handy with flipping your equations around. I can't stress that enough. Okay, and that's all I really need to say about that right now. But uh, give me a holler if you need a hand.